I'd like to use this boring head to bore, let's say, the outside of a round part rather than the inside. And to do that, I need a, what would appear to be a left-handed boring bar. So I've decided to make that out of a four inch long piece of drill rod that has a diameter of a half inch. Now I have a very small carbide insert that I'm going to use for this. And the way I'm doing this is absolutely not a high-tech way. But I've used this method twice and it's worked quite well. So what I've done first of all is I've created this flat. It's set back about a half an inch and the flat is right on the center line of this material so I have come down with a cutter and taken off 250 thousandths off my half inch bar. I have set it up in my rotary table. I had to rotate the table to uh, 330 here so that this one of these lines would line up with the x-axis of my machine. So 330 is actually my zero starting point for this. Now the first thing that I wanted to do was to get this one-eighth hole right there. It's kind of a relief hole for the uh, pocket that I'm going to make. So I placed my I don't want it to fall off there. Uh, I can't pull it over here. It's going to fall into the pocket. But I guess we can put it in the pocket here. And now the pocket has not been made yet in actuality. But I then scribed a line across here and a line across there. And where the two lines met, that was where I'm going to drill my one-eighth hole. Now once I got that one-eighth hole drilled, then I needed to generate the pocket. I'll just move that out of the way. So it just so happens that this this uh, insert has an 80 degree corner. That's from here up there. 80 degrees. So I am able to come in at the end here with a cutter drop down the depth equal to the width of my insert and mill across here until I got to the 1 8 hole. Now if I came back over to this side with the cutter and just went straight in I'd have 90 degrees here but I want 80 degrees so I had to wind right here I had to wind that 10 degrees over you can see that moving in that direction, right? We moved 10 degrees over. And then we came in from the outside and milled back to the 1 8 hole again. Now once I had the pocket in there, I was able to then put the insert into the pocket. And the best way to do this, I think, is to put a uh, transfer punch in the hole and just give it a, a light tap to get the center of the hole that you're going to need to drill for your retaining screw to fit. I purchased some uh, retaining screws that are actually uh, uh, Torx uh, screws, Torx bit rather. Uh, they are two millimeters. 2.5 millimeters, pardon me, by 5. And uh, they call them a size number 8. And we can include a, a link uh, to where I purchased these. The uh, insert itself I uh, also purchased and it was ordered from Amazon and we can give you a link to those as well. That'll be in the comments below. The tap size again is 2.5 millimeters. The tap drill is 2.05 millimeters which translates to 0 0.0807 of an inch. On my first attempt I could see that this shaft was actually rubbing here. 
So I took about 25 thousandths off of the shaft to make sure I had this clearance at the back and it uh, hopefully won't rub this time. We'll give it another try. <laughs> Well, that seems to be okay now. 